Welcome back, listeners, to our 100th episode. Woo! It's crazy. I can't, like, 100 episodes? It's been, what, about, like, three-ish years, something like yes. that? Mm-hmm. But specifically, we're at 100 episodes this episode, and that's just bizarre. Yeah. It's been a crazy ride. We've talked about so many different things. Yeah. We've done so many new things. We've talked mm-hmm. about old things. Um, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I think we're no, just... No, I don't think so. We're on a ride. and <laughs> Yeah, so thanks to all of our listeners who've listened to us from maybe the very beginning or who are just tuning in now. We appreciate you guys. So oh, yeah. We're going to keep doing this. Wouldn't do this without you. <laughs> yeah. So we have been, over the course of the last several episodes, we've been asking um, the community at large for their questions. Questions mm-hmm. of interest for Chelsea and I. And these questions, they really range... There is a lot <laughs> we're being asked I love about it. here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. In regards to like life, in regards to nerdy things and preferences and all sorts of things. So we have ourselves a nice big list here that we're just going to go through. We're going to ask ourselves and some of it's reminiscing and some of it is looking towards the future mm-hmm. and some of it is just nonsense. So uh, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> listeners, <Be ready. laughs> um, yeah, let's have some fun and sit back and enjoy this 100th episode anniversary. Yes. Chelsea, you ready for the first question? Oh, yeah. Let's dive right in. <laughs> awesome. Okay. The question states simply, donuts, hot or not? So hot. I love donuts. Donuts. I'm okay. obsessed. <laughs> so you like your donuts hot as well? Well, I don't know if it's asking that or for saying donuts are cool. I mean, I can't. I, I wasn't. Sh- I wasn't sure. I mean, donuts absolutely hot, absolutely. But do I want them hot? I don't know. I don't think I do. I mean, I just want them fresh. But if they're gonna be hot, they have to be like Krispy Kreme donuts. Like, oh yeah, oh hot yeah, hot off the presses. Basically, it just like glazed donuts. Those just melt in your mouth because they're so. I don't know. They're light and fluffy, delicious. Oh yeah. Absolutely. This this is a pro donut podcast. <laughs> yes. So I absolutely. also prefer yeast donuts over cake donuts. That's me. Also, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I like myself a good cake donut, yeah. assuming it's not like dry. Mm, no, thank yeah. you. No. Um. But but I will. I'll prefer a yeast a yeast donut over a cake donut. Yes. For sure. Ah, it gives me memories. My mom used to uh she would like deep fry, uh like biscuit biscuit like canned mm-hmm. biscuits you know and yeah. she would just roll them up in a ball and toss them in and then throw them into like sugar and cinnamon Ooh, that sounds delicious those and those would be hot i mean oh my god but you would oh they're just perfect they're so fluffy and light and they're just like just like donut balls basically but they're like they're pretty big um but god they were oh perfect I need donuts Thanks, Mom. right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right we should have yes. we should have been we should have foreseen this happening yep <laughs> Okay. All right. Moving on to our next question. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, Mm -hmm. Where do you find inspiration for episodes? And is it hard to think of podcast topics? Let's conquer those one at a time. Let's let's start. Let's start with the second question. Is it hard to think of podcast topics? Not really. Yeah, I'm gonna say not really. Yeah, not really. I mean, we think we think of stuff pretty far in advance. Yes. I don't mm-hmm. think we've ever been uh, like, oh my God, what are we going to do? What are we recording? Oh God. I don't think we've ever been in that situation. Mm-mm. And filling stuff out like in advance is just pretty simple for us. We just yeah. like, we haven't talked about this. Well, let's, let's do that. Let's do this. And it's, it works out pretty nicely. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Although I guess it may be a little difficult to be like, okay, which one do we want to talk about first? Per se, we do sometime. have a yeah. problem putting stuff in order. That's mm-hmm. hard. Like the exact placement that is. Oh. Yeah, that's those are bloody feuds sometimes. <laughs> We're like flaming each other on social media is pretty bad. <laughs> Doxing each other. Mm-mm. So dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. Hey, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, where where do we find inspiration for episodes? The The only answer I have in that is that life imitates art. That's what I'm going to say to that. Beautifully said. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Let that ink dry and here we go. Yes. Yep. Okay. We can move on to the next one. <laughs> yep. All right. Cool. Let's go. Okay. This, this, this is a pretty good question here. Mm-hmm. How long does research take? And what do you do if something is really popular, but neither of you is interested? Okay. Well, we can do with the first question about research. Yes. I mean, 
I think when I think about that, I think it really depends on the topic because I know sometimes we've it really covered, does. Yeah. Like sometimes yeah. we've covered like certain movies, especially if they're older movies. I do like to spend a little bit of time researching some of the facts and everything. You want to so, you want to know you want to be in the know about mm-hmm. those older movies for sure. Yeah. So I would say like, you know, that could take, you know, a little bit of time, but not like anything where I'm like researching for like three months straight, you know, let me get <laughs> all yeah. of the sources. But when I think of something that did take a while to, I guess, research more of like mulling, our last uh, episode we did on Disney, our two-parter. Oh gosh, Like yeah. narrowing down to our top fives. We like, worked on that for weeks, like individually, yes. like within yeah. our own time. But yeah, that we there was a lot of thinking and like balancing and stuff to go into that. Just it was just hard to decide mostly on on a lot of those things. Mm -hmm. But as far as research goes, a lot of it is just like we're gonna play this new game or we're gonna watch this new movie or read this book series. Um, Yes, (laughs) a lot of the time just just like getting through the thing most Mm -hmm. of the time. It's like the longest Um, part. Yeah, yeah, especially like like the Aragon books. Mm -hmm. That was that that was... was a whole like we. We went through those books for months and months, like yes. leading up to that mm-hmm. episode. And then we forced ourselves to watch that movie again. I say, and then our <laughs> reward for reading all the <laughs> all books reward. was to watch the awful movie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Yay. We do yeah. this for you. <laughs> but the the next question or the other uh, the part two question of that one's pretty interesting the what it do you some, do is... if something is really popular but neither of you is interested i mean i don't think we will cover it <laughs> yeah we just kind of skip it um yeah we just ignore that it exists and you know mm-hmm. it's fine <laughs> yeah there's so much other stuff out there we just want to uh-huh. you know try to focus on things we like but also like i mean some things we've tried though because like at least the interest is in us but it may not yes. be that great in the end yeah there's you know we we do we we we've done some i think both of us have done lots of new things mm-hmm. since since we started the podcast um but at the end of the day like we have our preferences of games we like to play and stuff and everything else um but we do try new things and usually when we try new things we talk about it on the mm-hmm. podcast yeah. like well i mean like one thing one thing you'll probably never really hear us talk about is like call of duty you know <laughs> yeah. that's not that's not really something up our alley about, no i'm just kidding yeah. i just like cry you can talk about how i cry or something like that when i play it <laughs> no. not, not my kind of game no it's not my we don't need to game. waste our time on that nah sorry people who like call yeah. of duty yeah all right so okay <laughs> so this next one here we go yes what is your favorite part of doing a podcast with each other who wants to go first <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm afraid if i say my piece i might get in trouble i don't know oh okay well then oh, i'll oh, just go no. first you know okay. I'll, I'll, no. <laughs> i mean honestly like it's just been really great getting to know you because like listeners i don't know if you entirely know the whole story but like we didn't know each other before we started this podcast literally the first like the first time we sat down to record the first episode was the first time that chelsea and i met each other yeah, which like, technically we had kind of briefly met because you had hopped on a game of Destiny 2 at one point and we were playing together. Was that it was before? Like a, was that yeah, before I think that? It was. Oh, it was it was like a very short time and like you, I don't think you had played it like as much as like I had at the time and it was just like, oh, hi, I don't know who you are. Cool. And then I also didn't really have a face to the name or anything either. It was just like fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. But then exactly like really actually getting to like talk to each other and stuff was yeah, like literally preparing for this podcast. And mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. I mean, I think there's a lot of, I have a lot of great things to say about you. You're such a Aww. great guy. Like, you've become really one of my really good friends. I just love talking to you, hanging out with you. Like, Aww. it's been, you know, <laughs> it's a great podcast ride as well Aww. as, you know, off the podcast. So, yeah, right. Well, and that's, that's what I was going to say. I was, I was just being nonchalantly <laughs> yeah. sassy earlier. Um, mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm. Like, the best part about doing the podcast is that it's not really a podcast with you. It's just, the fact that we get to hang out and be our nerdy selves and continue to like uh, learn about each other and stuff like that. And even and even like since we started doing the podcast, we've even like met. Yes. We've gone and had av- adventures with our spouses and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so that's which is amazing. Yeah. Ask me like five years ago if I would have thought that I would be getting to do something like that. Uh, I would have been like, no way. Like, <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like me. And here we are. And yeah. And here we will be. Yes. Yeah. Well, this kind of goes along with the next thing, <laughs> which is not a question. So we'll just say, yeah. oh, it starts with that. Not a question, yeah, question. Just a comment. You both are so kind and respectful to each other. Nice to see. Which. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's that's lovely. 
Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Um, I do try to get Chelsea to be sassy sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah. But but that to me that's a form of kind and respectfulness to me. Yeah. If I can be sassy yeah. to you, then it, that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah. And that's that's a good friendship <laughs> too. Yeah. No. It's it is. It's just good to talk to you. Yeah. Like you know, we just have no hate towards each other. It's just right. You might want to yeah say ridiculous things, but hey. You know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday we'll have to have an episode over something that we know that our opinions are really different on, which is funny because nothing comes to mind because we're so yeah. similar. Yeah. So, but we'll have to find, we'll really have to find an episode that like, <laughs> where maybe we can find an argument to have. I don't know if that's okay. possible, but hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I got nothing. I got we'll, nothing we'll, on that we'll, one. We'll keep diving deeper. We'll keep going into what we like. <laughs> Come up Fantastic. With crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next one, I'm going to do a little bit of reminiscing here. The question mm-hmm. is, when you hear that was a fun episode, which episode comes to mind? Oh, we've done and this quite one a, is like, yeah. yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to like dig into on this one. Yeah. I mean, because the idea too behind it, like I think we want to have fun with our episodes in general, or you know, if not just fun, also having a little bit of a learning time too, or sharing something unique that people might not know. But yeah, we've done a variety of things. I mean, way back at the beginning of the podcast, we did some really like particularly like kind of creative episodes, taking mm-hmm. crazy concepts like our bad mm-hmm. TV pitches episode. Oh my god, the bad <laughs> the bad TV pitches was. <laughs> chaos at its finest it was chaos it really was a mess yeah that was where we basically like we were given like what like a couple topics and just had to come like like on the spot it was like this is the scenario like this is a scenario yeah we're pitching to netflix a show but like this is the scenario like who would you put in that scenario Mm-hmm. or or maybe like, it was vice st- versa or like trying maybe to sell your story to everybody else yeah yeah it was it was something <laughs> yeah it was i remember the hulk being a detective or something like that i don't yeah we it was clifford yeah. the big red dog was like a lawyer at the end of the world yes. or something <laughs> uh-huh yeah that was that was interesting mm-hmm. um Something that I've really enjoyed, and this is more of our modern episodes, but um, the last, oh gosh, I don't know how long it's been, but Chelsea and I have been steadily going over the uh, the current but now ending era of X-Men comics. Mm, yes. Um, and that's been a blast to get to talk about that. Because uh, I'm like, I'm more on like the newer end of X-Men. Like I haven't really read a lot of old stuff Mm -hmm. but i've read like all of the krakoan era stuff but chelsea's kind of the opposite where she's read lots of stuff that came before but Mm -hmm. hadn't really gotten into the new stuff so getting to go through that like arc by arc is just has been really really fun and i've enjoyed having somebody to talk to about that yeah no i'm i'm so glad that like i've been able to get back into reading x-men and we're able to share our love together and talk about those super ridiculous moments the <laughs> jaw dropping we, ones and we're only like we're not even halfway through the Krakoan era yet <laughs> no uh so <laughs> we have gonna... we have some we have some more episodes coming back yes we're, we're getting there mm-hmm. some sooner than others too yeah. yes we're gonna be digging into the drama here soon oh yeah so another episode that comes to mind when i think about fun episodes um which kind of goes along with the next question um, is our guilty pleasures episode mm, like mm-hmm. what what kind of media and stuff do we do or just activities do we do that we would consider to be guilty pleasures so if you're interested in hearing about that hop yes. on down and listen to our guilty pleasures episode there is a lot <laughs> there's a <laughs> yes. lot in there so have mm-hmm. fun with that <laughs> have fun with that yeah okay uh moving on next question is what nerdy series would you like to go through but haven't so Hmm. like a game series that you haven't played before that you'd like to or a tv show or something like that Mm -hmm. a book i think there's a video game series that comes to mind for me i kind of want to get into fallout i could say the same i've Mm all like i've played fallout 4 like a little bit but i Mm -hmm. could not i just couldn't get into it but i hated it i like i wanted to play it Mm -hmm. but i just couldn't I couldn't stick to it. Yeah. It feels like it's right up my alley. Like, it just feels like like I would enjoy it. I just haven't ever, like, just sat down and committed to one of them. It's also because, like, 
I don't think you necessarily have to play all the games. So I'm like, well, which game is going to be the best introduction or introductory game for me? So it's just... Mm -hmm. So listeners, if you actually have a recommendations on which Fallout game I should play first, let me know. Because yeah, let Chelsea I'm know. Really, yes, and I'll I'm pay to dive in. Too. <laughs> 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 I like yeah. my my to be played list is is kind of long. Like my backlog mm-hmm. has been building this school year. It's been a busy life. Yeah, and I'm trying to think if there's like a series specifically that I would love to jump into. Mm-hmm. And I nothing like nothing is is screaming at me right now because we we're pretty like thorough in our own interests like we between the two of us we cover a lot of ground Mm -hmm. when it comes to games and books and movies and all the stuff so i i might have to think about that question a little bit more okay well you know what i Mm -hmm. I got one book series percy jackson never read them Ooh, yeah never read them wouldn't mind wouldn't mind doing it though we'll say that there we go there's one (laughs) okay let's see Okay, so here's some, somebody's wanting some advice. Let's see if we can give them some. I want to work smarter, not harder. What is a life hack you use you think is underrated? Life hack is so broad. It is, it is so broad. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you, I guess you could, I guess I have one. I don't know if it's, it could could be a form of a life hack. I don't know. I also feel like I talk about this so much. I just feel like a life hack in general is like, get a library card, people. Library cards are the best save money get free stuff like movies tv shows books obviously video games music i don't know i just well and to 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 kind of piggyback off that and it's this is harder for for younger people these days just because of how life is but something that you can do to make life a little better a little easier in a way um is to find hobbies away from a screen Mm. Mm -hmm. you know interact yeah. interact with your world more than just what's on your screen because most of the time what is on your screen is not really chosen by you it's chosen by other people so try to get out there and find something in in life that you do enjoy and as far as like something specific that something that i follow i like every day what i try to do is i try to get done what i have to get done and then do other things mm. it is so easy to fall behind in life when you look ahead and you're like, oh, I have to do this. Even if it's something simple, like I have to I have to pay those bills today. I have to take out the trash today. I have to vacuum the floor. Like mundane adult activities. Get them done. Feel accomplished. And then do what you want, you know? Yeah. Relax. Well, it kind of goes along with that too. Like really big into like to-do lists like in this household. To-do like, really to do lists are yes. important. Make lists. Yeah. Make lists for everything. Yeah. All the time. And then you can feel satisfied when you check something off or cross it off because then you can mm-hmm. see what you've accomplished and how much more you have to do so it's it yeah. makes things a little bit less overwhelming when you have a set goals mm-hmm. go find a nice little like cute magnetic paper pad that you can put on your fridge or something go to etsy there's all mm-hmm. sorts of cool things there um make yourself to-do lists get it done yeah even if it's silly stuff like vague stuff i mm-hmm. like making vague to-do lists those are fun my yeah, kids there's so many uh, possibilities i don't them. think they yeah. like that they don't appreciate that mm like like um i have like daily class slides yeah i hope so i have like daily class slides and one of the boxes like what do you need for class today and Mm -hmm. on every single class the first thing is yourself and the kids are always like oh my god like roll eyes like well like be here be present be Be, like Mm -hmm. make sure your your head is where your feet is you know be here um and that's taken for granted and until you get out in the adult world and you're like oh wait a minute (laughs) life is different Life's different outside of school, folks, so Mm -hmm. stick to it. For sure. You'll be okay. Okay, any more more life advice? I I can make a separate life advice podcast. (laughs) I was going to say, yeah, that's a whole separate podcast. (laughs) Make my children listen to it. (laughs) I think that's a a little tidbit. Okay, moving on then. Easy question. Vampire or werewolf? Vampire. Vampire. All day, every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just cooler. Team Edward over here. (laughs) <laughs> all vampires in general pretty much yeah <laughs> oh okay fine <laughs> no vampires for sure they're cooler than werewolves um mm-hmm. i don't know i've never been a werewolf person yeah. uh yeah it's that simple watching the um the underworld movies for instance mm. i'm always like oh the vampires could just kill all the werewolves that's fine with me <laughs> like it's okay <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like you get so many more interesting stories, like abilities. Vampires are just more interesting. They really are. Werewolves are just, they're just werewolves. 
until we get <laughs> better content, I guess, then we'll change our mind. Yeah, right. But no, it's, that's going to take a lot from us, I think. <laughs> Vampires mm. are the best. Yeah. Okay, next question. This is, Now, this is an interesting question. This is for the parents out there, I suppose. Uh, mm-hmm. My son just started watching Pokemon. If it sticks, how do I keep up with all the names? Like, yeah, there's over, yeah. there's like a thousand and eight Pokemon now. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Um, mm-hmm. My first, my first bit of advice is to uh, hop back in time and just like get really into Pokemon when it came out when we were like eight. Um that's the easy one. If not, um, really, the best thing you can do is if your kid is watching Pokemon, uh, watch Pokemon with your kid and learn with him. Because, mm-hmm. you know, the, the kids are learning. They don't know anything that they haven't seen. Um, so just learn with them. If, if you're keeping up with your kid on Pokemon, then you're doing a great job. They'll probably remember things a little bit better than you at first. But, you know, spend okay. some time yeah. with them in Pokemon and you'll be fine. How about Chelsea, you got anything to add on that? Yeah, no, I think that's a good point. I think also, too, like, if your kid does really get into Pokemon and they want to, like, show you specific things about, like, look at this Pokemon or something, like, you could either look like an online, like, Wikipedia type thing or even get, like, a book or a poster to help out with that. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, way back when I had a book, which I think I still actually have the book to this day, that was, I mean a lot smaller than what the book could be now because of the amount of Pokemon. But I had like the original, like what, 151 Pokemon or whatever. It was a cool like book that was Was like the Pokedex. Mine was red or like- Okay, so you had the the first one, I think. Yeah. I had the second one, which I think it wasn't really different. I think it had like Mew on it and not Mm. whatever else. But um, they were basically the same book. But my border was green. But I, I think I want to say I have that book somewhere too. I lo- I've read that book probably a thousand million times. Yeah, it's something fun too. And also kind of with your advice earlier about like, you know, doing something else besides the screen, but you also have a book that also is still Pokemon related, but also can mm-hmm. flip through. You get to learn about the po- I don't know. It was just, it's a really great, fun, useful thing. It was also useful even playing the games at some point, being like looking up mm-hmm. all the stats. So for sure. I mean, yeah, getting into the games with your kid that like that would definitely help. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that just depends on ages and availability and that's that's a whole other con like conversation to have (laughs) so but hey worst case um text one of your friends i bet they'll know (laughs) just take a take a snap of the picture like who is this help and then uh, i'm sure you'll get responses (laughs) that is true (laughs) okay chelsea i'm gonna ask you this question first because you'll have you'll have better answers i think what movies what movies do you want to see get a remake and why? I mean, I feel like we make the joke all the time. The obvious choices, you know, if you haven't heard us talk about Aragon, but <laughs> we are getting a TV series at some point. Uh-huh. So I'm good with that. And it's still but... like it's going through. It's it's building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just taking longer. But I, th- I think one movie which might be a little controversial because I think the movie itself is fine. But because it's based on a book, and I really enjoyed this book as a child, and so when I originally saw the movie, I was like, I was definitely one of those people who were like, it's not the same. It would be, honestly, Ella Enchanted with Anne Hathaway, that movie, like, way back. But it just, it really changed parts of the book. And I feel like also if the story was actually with, like, an actor that was actually, like, younger. Because, I mean, not that Anne Hathaway looked like she was, like, 40 years old or whatever and the thing, but, like, she's supposed to be a child. Like, I don't know, like, younger than 15 or something. So I just, I want more of that kid story, but also just a little bit more in line with the book because the book does a really, really good job and wasn't really a musical type thing. You have those singing moments in Ella mm-hmm. Enchanted. But, I mean, hey, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's a fun time. It's Anne Hathaway, what, whatever, but... I don't know. That's kind of a one that comes to mind to me. Um, the only thing that comes to mind with me, and I'm sure this will happen someday because it's a huge, like, it's a huge thing. Um, <laughs> but I'd like to see, like, I'd like to see a, a remake of the Twilight series. Mm, mm-hmm. But, like, uh, I would also like to see them, like, take it serious. <laughs> like, and not, like, because there's so many things that came out of just, even just the first movie that were, yeah. like, just huge, like, memes, you know? There were so many, like, unintentionally funny parts of that movie. Uh, like, not supposed to be funny. It was just, like, so bad and stuff like that. Um, I'd like to like them to have a vision from the very beginning and, like, follow mm-hmm. that vision. Do justice by the books, I think. Well, here's a question to add to that. Would you okay. want it to be a remake that was 
live action or animated? Um, I mean, I think a live, I think a, an animated Twilight film would be, I think it would be fine. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, there's nothing, I don't feel like, there's nothing in that whole series that would make certain scenes or characters or elements like easier to do if it was animated, you know? Because mm-hmm. there's nothing terribly fantastical. I mean, yeah. maybe not have a terrible CGI baby at the end. Let's not do that. I think we've come but... far, so hopefully that will be. Less I bad. hope so. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, if it never happens, I, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna be <laughs> upset about it. Um, but I, that's that's the thing. Like that one, like kind of needs one. Mm. But there's lots of other movies that's like if they, they announced a remake of this movie, people would be up in arms about it. Because the question with movie remakes is like, but why? Game remakes, you know, you want to see them in like a current format, right? Yeah. Today's graphics or better gameplay or something like that. But with movies, it's just like, but you can still watch the movie. You can still enjoy it for what it is kind of thing. Yeah. So it really just depends on what you want to remake because the question is why? Why do you need to remake? Maybe yeah. like, maybe like the Page Master. Mm. Maybe like the never ending story. Yeah. Those could have some pretty cool like modern interpretations. Mhm. That'd be kind of neat. Well, yeah. That also kind of goes along the lines too with I want them to remake the Chronicles of Narnia, but I mean they're already I think I think they're, they, they're at, making a they're doing a TV show, I think, right? With Greta Gerwig, I think, at Netflix. I think that's what it is. So, I don't know. That's I'm excited cool. for that to happen because I've just yeah, been waiting cool. for Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I've been waiting for years just because like the seven books there are in that series, but like they've never been fully made as all movies. Did the movies only go to like four? Yeah, well, they only did four of them, and it wasn't even like in the whatever order you go off of because that series does have various orders depending on how you look at it. But yeah, no, they kind of stopped. Like the first one wasn't bad, but then they got not as good. <laughs> I I remember the first one, and I remember Prince Caspian mm-hmm. vaguely, and I don't remember the other ones <laughs> at all. That's okay. Maybe someday. So. Yeah. Maybe someday. All right, moving on. What are some good games and gaming systems to start with if you're not a gamer? Um, Straight up, I'm going to say a Switch. I would honestly Switch. agree. I would say anything yeah. Nintendo, to be honest. I think Nintendo is just... Nintendo is made to be available. It's made to like... If you're looking at like first party games, they are meant to be enjoyed mm-hmm. in a non-intense, aggressive way. There is like no competition. And I know people will scoff at stuff like that, but but guys, games are for everybody, and not everybody's the same kind of gamer. And you can enjoy mm-hmm. a million different kinds of games. Like, that's part of what our podcast is all about. Like, there's something for everybody, but not everything has to be for everybody. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, mm-hmm. So, like, Mario games are great, but Nintendo has way more than, Nar- than, than Mario. I almost said Naruto. That's not that's <laughs> but- not what we're talking about. <laughs> I mean, they have Naruto games, that's true. But <laughs> They do, they do. Um, but start with that. I mean, even like the indie scene on the Switch is amazing. Cozy Gaming, just mm. Google that. Cozy Gaming. That, Dreamlight there's Valley. A, <laughs> Dreamlight Valley. There's a thousand <laughs> yeah. different kinds of cozy games, things that are not anxious, not stressful. Do it as you want to, like leave and come back in a month. Like there's so many things. So I would say get a Switch, Google Cozy Gaming, pick out Stardew Valley. <laughs> and have some fun because um there's i mean you'll you'll find games that cover all sorts of activities that you wouldn't think of uh for instance we were just talking about this earlier i just beat a game called unpacking where you follow the life of a girl through like through her life and like as her family moves you get to like unpack her room so you start with her as a little child and you get to unpack her toys and the little like her, her coloring equipment and stuff like that. And you get to see how she grows and develops relationships just through what she's on, like what she, what she's bringing with her into the next, like her next living status. And there's no timers. There's nothing. You're just pulling stuff out of boxes and putting it in a space. I mean, it is very simple, but it was so relaxing which I didn't like really intend, you know, I just like Mm -hmm. organizational games like that, you know, but that was very just relaxing. It's not very long either. Beat it and start over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like you said, yeah, games for for everybody. There's so many games out there, so many different varieties, like, and I feel like it's so exciting because we see more and more of that, like, each year 
like like the indie scene just really just exploding and like we said yeah so if you're worried about games just being like all nonstop action they are like you'll find something very easily that you can just take your time yeah. in to learn the controls some of them have very simple controls so you're not going to have to be worrying about like button mashing and like using every single thing on a controller to try to survive and get through a game there are so many games that are like two button games mm-hmm. move your person if if there's even a person to control and click yeah. the button it's so simple mm-hmm. um but Listeners, if you want to hear more about cozy games or if you want recommendations to like simple gaming and stuff, ask us. Yes. Ask us. We'll tell you. We, we love, love those to talk things. About those. Yes. We mm-hmm. love to talk about those. <laughs> okay. Um, Chelsea, what is yes. your favorite movie from the past year? We just got done with the Oscars. Let's drag it all back up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, I'll bring up the Oscar. That's fine. I mean, because this question is so hard because. Like, I mean, we did an episode on Barbie. Clearly, I think that's a movie that we both enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I mean, movies specifically that were nominated for Oscars that I really enjoyed. Like, I mean, well, we did see The Boy and the Heron actually win. So super exciting for that was crazy, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Amazing. But incredible movie. And also that movie, listeners, if you're listening to this episode when it comes out, the the Friday after it's The Boy and the Heron is re-releasing in theaters. So if you get out of here. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! This, they're doing this just for me. They're doing it just for me because I missed it. Thank yes. you, Jesus. So I'm. I, yeah, I hope everybody goes to see this. If you haven't seen this movie, excellent movie. Another amazing work from Miyazaki. One that we might have to talk about on an episode. I don't know. There's just so much to break down. You know, we did a whole episode specifically on Miyazaki, but we could talk forever about those movies. I mean, another two movies, I guess I'll give a shout out specifically related that were nominated for Oscars that I thought were absolutely excellent that came out last year were Killers of the Flower Moon and Poor Things, which Poor Things is a movie. I have yet to watch Poor Things. Yeah. It's not a movie for everybody. It can be quite raunchy, but it has a major point to it. It's really well done. Great stylization. Emma Stone spectacular she did actually win an oscar for that movie so which is great to see yeah which i was actually very surprised because it seemed like lily gladstone was going to win for killers of the flower moon which superb movie completely different from poor things but like emma stone was also excellent so it's just emma stone man (laughs) uh i don't know i don't know if i can pick like my favorite the the thing that the one that comes to mind first it was barbie Mm -hmm. but if i move away from barbie um the the one that pops up to my head the the hardest is saltburn <laughs> like i i really liked saltburn not because it was like i mean not for weird. its weird yeah. not for its like extraness yeah. although some of the extraness helped cuz some of the extraness like helps tell the story mm-hmm. not all of it did some of it was just there to traumatize you but um <laughs> but that movie had me thinking about like it's it's like core and concept for forever afterwards because there's a lot of and really I've, i only watched ways, it the yeah. once mm-hmm. yeah i only to watched it the it, once yeah. and like it's not a movie for the kids so like kids don't go watch it be adults even first. if you've seen it all over tiktok you know <laughs> yeah even if you've seen it all over tiktok please don't and then don't tell me about it i don't need to know that um but that i think think that might be it um although across the spider verse was mm-hmm. pretty good yeah it was pretty good. And we both enjoyed Elemental. That also came out last and year. And we liked Elemental. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. sure there's something silly that came out that I really enjoyed. I just... Super Mario Brothers I'm not really... movie? Yeah. Yeah, it came out last... Yeah, it was like, early February, on. February, March, something like that. Yeah, before it was out. Ends. It was out on DVD by the summer. I know that. Mm-hmm. But that was, that was so, a fun one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And they, the second one got announced Ooh. on Mario Day. Back on Mario Day. Um, That's right. Yeah. Literally that it's it's coming that's all they said <laughs> but it get it get an official announcement so that's that'll be fine that'll have lots of yoshi in it so mm. yes absolutely the tease yeah <laughs> oh yes at the end of the movie yeah <laughs> okay now okay this is a hard one i hate this question <laughs> it's rough okay if you could enjoy a book movie game or any whatever again for the first time what would it be if you could enjoy something for the first time again. So I had one answer that Im- like immediately came to mind. And that was a game that I've talked about quite a few times on the podcast. Uh, it's Control. 
just because I enjoyed like, oh, the great. atmosphere, even though like the crazy ashtray maze sequence, not giving anything away with that. But I just, it's a game that like, you know, I, I would enjoy replaying it, but at the same time, it's like, it's a game where, yeah, if I could really just play it for the first time and experience it, I think it would just be a blast again because another thing that popped in my head but i realized i don't want to play it for the first time i just want to keep playing it again and again and that would be kingdom hearts those games oh, like right. i don't need to forget about them i just want to get my immerse myself back in the stories and the world yes mm-hmm. that well, yeah i mean like kingdom hearts is kind of like a cheap shot answer mm-hmm. but like i don't i don't need to replay i don't need to i don't need to do it again from the beginning because mm-hmm. a replay for that series is Almost just as good, you know? Yeah. Like, the emotions exactly. don't go away and stuff like that. Um, something I th- was thinking about was um, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because, mm. mm-hmm. you know, I haven't beaten Tears of the Kingdom yet. Partly because a lot of it, it like doesn't have that same new feeling as Breath of the Wild did in its gameplay and stuff. Um, but, like, playing through Breath of the Wild for the first time was just, like, inspiring. Just... It was just like, whoa, like every you ran in a direction and you would discover something new. And it was just like, cool, I can do this thing now. And then you go pick another direction and you run in that direction. <laughs> um, Tears of the Kingdom is similar, but it's like, it's not the same because you already kind of know what to expect from it. Mm, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. So I think I'm going to go with that answer. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Oh, yeah. If you are picking a movie for a chill night at home. What would be your go-to right now? Do you have an answer? <laughs> um, I have a few answers, I okay. think, because I we have some movies that we kind of cycle through. Mm-hmm. Um, one, um, any Harry Potter movie mm-hmm. is fine. Uh, maybe not the first two. Maybe <laughs> anything after the third movie. <laughs> third, yes. They're slightly more enjoyable to watch with the effects and stuff. Um, Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's that's a constant for us at home. This it's fun and it's dorky and it just it fits it fits us. Yeah. How about you? This question is a little interesting to me because when I think about like watching a movie at home, like just to chill out and stuff, I typically want to actually watch something new because okay, I just you're not much like... of a rerun girl. Not too much. I mean, I guess there's a couple I could think about. Like, you know, I'm sure like I'm up for watching Disney movies or okay. Well, she's the man. I've seen that movie quite a bit. We do enjoy watching okay. that movie every once is in a while. Is that the who's in who stars in that? Who is that? Amanda Bynes. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm thinking of the right movie. Yes. No, fantastic movie. But in general, like there's so many movies that like have either already come out or things that are like recently coming out. Like I just always have like my like favorites, like wish list on like every single streaming service. It's always just jam packed. So typically it just comes down to, okay, what am I going to watch next? What have I not seen? So I'm just always that's crazy watching. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like in my house, in my house, watching something new, whether that's a movie or a TV show, it's like an event. Mm. It's like, it's special you know oh okay. now now to say when we watch is when we watch new stuff i mean like we're pulling out the stops we're like cozy on the couch we have snacks we're doing the whole turning the lights off thing like we want to mm-hmm. make sure that we're immersed mm-hmm. in that thing but like if we're just looking for like just a quiet cozy night we're, we're probably watching a remake or a remake a rerun um okay something something like right now we're re-watching um avatar the last airbender Mm-hmm. like just it's time to to wind down it's time to relax turn on avatar but sometimes it's stupid it's, sometimes it's like family guy or american dad mm-hmm. hey, or something, something like, just chill with yeah yeah, something just to chill with but but no yeah. that's that's kind of that's kind of where we're at yeah well i mean just because i do have a long list yeah some of those movies that i do want to watch are not like ones to relax like you'd have to like solely focus on and stuff so yeah i wouldn't pick those it really just depends on my mood during the time to relax like last sure. night we literally just watched a brand new movie because we're like hey let's watch something and we're like should we watch something we've already seen and they're like oh we haven't watched this movie yet let's go check that out what'd so. you watch joyride <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yeah hint hint <laughs> something to hint, come hint. i mean i'll yeah, I'll be watching that movie again for sure. But yeah, okay. I won't talk too much about that now. I'm I'm saving it for yeah. listeners, close your ears. I'm saving it for the episode. <laughs> yeah, it's totally fine. We couldn't, we were like, just like, oh yeah, we haven't seen it yet. Let's watch it. So there we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, oh man. Um, This one is a toughie. This next one, it, it, it's not, it's not a hard question. It is for me because like adult life has been jam packed. 
Um, mm-hmm. So I'll have to think back quite a bit to make sure I can cover this question. But Chelsea, what content have you been consuming lately? Tell me everything. Well, should I say everything? Because honestly, everything I've been doing is for future podcast episodes, oh. guys. <laughs> okay, we can't, we can't, we can't say everything because we don't want to give too many things away. Yeah. Um. Well, I already gave a movie away, but I can. Can I give away the game because that episode is coming up soon? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You could yep. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been diving into for the very first time Final Fantasy VII remake. Chelsea's been playing remake. She's been getting mm-hmm. through it. It's her first Final yeah. Fantasy game, and I I've been eyeballing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Mm-hmm. We have it. I have played it a whole two and a half hours at this point. Things have just been bonkers, busy. Uh, when this episode comes out, the end of the week, I'll be starting spring break, so we'll get to get more into it. I hope, but mm-hmm. um, we're we're both covering the the remake Final Fantasy games right now. So that's good. Yes. Um, I have been reading a book series, mm-hmm. but it's for the podcast, so <laughs> yeah. I can't give it away. Um, having a good time with it, but I can't give it away. Got to keep a secret. Yeah. But you can guess. Listeners, you can guess what it yeah, is. Yeah, please guess. Yeah. Please guess. Love to know the theories. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of love to know the theories, um, we have rewatched Has Been Hotel probably eight times. Uh, Chelsea, do you know, have you heard of Has Been Hotel? I have not talked to you about this at all. N- no, no, tell okay. me about this. Okay, well, um, it's a show on Amazon. It's an animated show on Amazon. Okay. It's like eight episodes long. It's not too much, but it's styled like a musical. Every 20 oh. minute episode, you get two musical numbers and what it, and, and, and they're amazing, by the way. But what it is, the story takes place in hell. Hmm. In the, the main character is the princess of hell, like the daughter of Lucifer Morningstar. And her goal, she she has created a hotel where she's trying to um she's trying to help sinners like make their way to heaven. Hmm. Okay. By helping them like understand themselves and become better people and stuff. So that the the theory is a soul should be able to fix itself and go to heaven still, even after death. Mm. And the angels hear about that. And, you know, it's, and it's so good. It is, um, kids who are listening, it is not a kid show. I know the kids have heard of it because I hear them singing the songs from it all the time. <laughs> not, it's not for kids. It is such a good show. We've watched it mm. like eight times. It's just wow. amazing. So maybe, maybe we can have an episode about that someday, but. I'll have to look into it. Maybe. It almost, like, it gives me slight vibes to, like, this reminds me of the good place, which I want to talk about. I think it is. It you. is yeah. kind of similar, but it is. Um, I mean, again, it is not appropriate I mean, for good, children. Yeah, mm-hmm. like intensely. So it's pretty. Woo, lordy. Um, because again, you know, it's yeah. like actual hell. So, uh, like mm-hmm. from from the Bible. <laughs> Um, but it's fun. It is so fun. It's it's like a big Broadway musical in a lot of ways. And most mm. of the cast are actually like Broadway performers. Oh, like okay. the guy who plays um, Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. Like that actor, he is, he takes part in the show. He's one of, you know, he's two of the main characters actually. But there's a lot. There's so much huh. that goes on. Um, so we should, we could, we can continue that conversation uh, soon because... If you yeah. ended up liking it, you would zip through it really fast, like an afternoon. Okay, even. cool. I'll have but to take a look. we're we're playing games, we're reading stuff, we're doing all sorts of things. But a lot of it is in prep for future episodes that we mm-hmm. don't want to just flat out spoil. Maybe we can give you some teasers later. But for now, we're um, we're getting closer to the end of our list here. Mm-hmm. So if you're still sticking around, thank you so much. We're gonna we're gonna move through our list a little bit more here. Okay. Uh, next question. If you could have anyone as a guest on the podcast, who would it be? I have an easy answer because we've talked about it before. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At some point, we're going to have our spouses guest yes. star with us. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. Are we talking about? Oh, I, I, remember. I remember. Yes, I think we're doing that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we we have some we have a, some pretty special guests lined up. Um <laughs> But that's that's not what they're asking. That's not what they're asking. If you could pick no. anybody as a guest, <laughs> who would it be? Oh, gosh, I well, do they have to be alive? <laughs> do they have, have to be real? <laughs> they can be literally anybody at all. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I 
I always give a stupid answer about if they weren't alive, I'd be like, I want to talk to Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Let's see how big of a nerd he actually is. <laughs> yeah, right. People like that. Let's see how nerdy we can make them. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to take another cheap answer shot, and I'm going to say Hikaru Utada. Ooh. That would be pretty mm-hmm. cool. Could you imagine? We would, would not. We like, be we would able be to get through control. an episode. No, we would be, we would be out of control. <laughs> she would be like, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, we, we need somebody else to moderate us. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it would be such an honor, though, realistically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's a hard question. I'm sure there's like I like name a person, I and I bet it. we would have a pretty good episode with that person, just talking about the thing that they're in, or um, or yeah. you know, if they're a fictional character, like <laughs> that would be something. Yep. But nothing like nothing springs up to mind right now. No, we're gonna have Mother Gothel and uh, Gaston oh, no. from Dreamlight Valley to explain themselves. <laughs> yeah, we're putting them on trial. Ooh, we uh-huh. should do that. That could, that could be an episode. Ooh. Put, put some Disney villains on trial. <laughs> yes. With special guests. We could have special guests play play the villains. Like, you have to be in we character. Got you gotta yes. be in character okay. the whole time. Okay, sounds like a great Perfect. idea. Perfect. Perfect. We're looking for volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, all right. It sounds like we should move on. Um, Are there any good movies or games coming out this year that you're excited about? I Okay, we get out of school in May. The Endish of May. There's a game that comes out the very next day that I'm prepared to sell my life to. The second <laughs> the next day hits. And that game is the remake of Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. Oh, I'm ready okay. to not exist for a good, like, five days because of that game. I am not joking. I'm so... I know. I, I hope that that one does well enough and they do the same thing for the original Paper Mario. Mm-hmm. Although you can go play that on, like, the virtual console and stuff. Um, so it's totally available, but a remake would also be super cool. Although, like a thousand year door, like you can't play that anymore. It's on a GameCube, and it probably mm-hmm. costs one hundred and fifty bucks. <laughs> so that's that, and the Epic Mickey remake. Yes, yes. I think we're both waiting on that for sure. Mm-hmm. I'd love to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that I have paid for and downloaded. I'd love to get to play that. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. But that's what I got right now. Yeah, video game wise, I'm I'm still not sure if I'm fully committed to it. it I guess the game's going to come out like 2 days after this episode airs, I think, or something like that. Uh Rise of the Ronin, the game has me intrigued. Oh, I for I completely forgot about that game. Okay. Yeah, I I haven't been keeping up with it. And I was like I really need to like look at everything and see if this is a game that I would actually enjoy because it intrigued me, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait to see like how it ends up being, but that's A game that I, yeah, I'm keeping an eye out. And then also just all the Dreamlight Valley updates we're getting the first half of this year. Hopefully we'll get another update maybe next month or something. Like the teases for Tiana and Mulan and then more of the paid content story. Like, man. Someday. (laughs) Yeah. Well, we you, we say we're ready, and neither of us are like <laughs> yeah. caught up to the current stuff. Yeah. So I mean, I just wanted. I'm just excited for all of it. Yes, absolutely. So mm-hmm. Um, I you know thinking about it, I don't know. I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff planned. Like I can't think of a lot of crazy stuff that's like been announced that people are waiting on. Because like Rebirth came out, um, and I know that was on a lot of people's to do list for like the spring, mm. the winter spring yeah. time. But you know, we'll have we'll have a uh, a. Uh, Oh my gosh, the game show. Yeah. In Summer June? Game Fest. Yes. Game mm-hmm. Fest in it's... like the beginning of June. Yeah, that first Thursday, um, I think. Or so I'm hoping yeah. that there's a lot of announcements because, like, I know, like, the Switch front, the Switch front is looking really dry right now, but that's on purpose because they're, they're prepping, like, the Switch 2, the next Switch, mm-hmm. you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, so I understand that. And like they've they've announced the new Pokemon, a new Pokemon game. But come the summer, I bet they'll have announced that new Switch. So there will be lots coming, I think, on Nintendo. But like PlayStation and Xbox, I don't know if there's... It's... Somebody's <laughs> listening right now going like, you forgot about this. You're not thinking about this. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm totally not. Yeah. I'm sure I'm skipping well, something. And there's so many games, too, that I'm thinking about that I'm excited for. But like, they don't have a set release date or they're not even close there to is some stuff in the next yeah. year or two Yeah, there's or some three stuff that's or... like that way yeah. off in the horizon somewhere. Yeah. So. But we don't know what the rest of this year looks like at no. all for like first party no. games. Yeah. We're at a loss right now. So, well, which is good because I can catch up on some stuff. 
Yeah. And actually, and this is awful, but in like two weeks, question mark, there is a new update in Stardew Valley. Oh. So there'll be new content and a, a, a new file I get to make in Stardew Valley, um, which I'm very excited for. And Chelsea, I need to get you playing Stardew with me. I know, I know. So that we can we can do an episode on that. We could do a farm together. Okay. We can do it. We can, we can do, do it. it. We can call our our farm. We can call it like like I don't know. We can name, make it Kingdom Hearts related. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll we can do this. It. Okay. <laughs> what about any movies or shows oh, or anything else? Um, any other type of thing that are coming out this year? That's kind of hard too, because like the Avatar show came out. Um, there's a movie I'm curious. I'm sure you're excited to see. We have not talked about this movie, but this movie is coming out soon. And that is Deadpool 3. Oh, yeah. That's in May, right? Like the beginning of May. That has that movie has a lot of potential. And I don't even mean like Deadpool potential. Like, sure, Everything. we get to bring Wolverine back. Like, okay, that's 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 cool. That's not like crazy. That's just cool, right? To me, that's well, everything else that's been announced for that movie is crazy. Yes, it's every it's what it's what that movie means to the MCU. That's the potential mm-hmm. there. Yeah, which you know the MCU is in kind of a worrying spot right now. Yeah, but I, I'm so stuck because I feel like the movies and in the shows and stuff. I feel like the movies and shows have done nothing wrong. Like they've mm-hmm. all been fine. You know, they've told singular yeah. little stories. Which they said would that's what's going to happen after the whole end game thing, mm-hmm. which also makes a lot of sense. It's kind of a reboot. Characters are focusing on themselves instead of like being involved in each other's business. Mm-hmm. But it's like the, on the executive level and the fan, like the extreme fanboy level, like those two groups are making the MCU look like a mess right now. Yeah. But if you just focus on the the shows themselves and the movies, it's fine. So Deadpool could help. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and it's just a time right now, too, where, like, you don't have to watch everything if you don't want to. Like, we don't quite entirely don't know what's coming next. People don't seem to understand so, like, that. <laughs> yeah. And, like, everything's not perfect. But honestly, before Endgame, was everything perfect? No. 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 <laughs> not at all. So, so, like, you know, it's just, it's a different time. And, you know, we're just getting new stories. So. Yeah. I'm I'm always curious to see where, where it's going next. But, you know, that's what yeah. it is. just taking things at our own pace Mm -hmm. but deadpool 3 yeah i'm ready to see this there's gotta be some like (laughs) summer blockbusters or something coming that we're not thinking about there has to be although like there's no dc stuff coming Mm -hmm. and and after deadpool marvel is really like gonna be pretty scant for a while i think yeah well there's a couple movies that have some potential like there's a movie that's coming out i guess also in may I don't know. I think it just looks kind of funny. It looks kind of dumb and everything. It's a comedy. It star- mm-hmm. It's called The Fall Guy. It stars Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling. Oh. No, I saw that. I saw... I've Well, they've been showing stuff on it for a while. Um, yeah. That looks like that could be pretty entertaining. Yeah. yeah. It's having yeah. that, like, will they, won't they, like, yeah, romantic thing. And also <laughs> she's, like, a movie director and he's a stunt guy. And then yeah. they get put in these crazy situations so uh-huh i don't know also they're making the i think that's coming out later this year the Qu- a quiet place prequel a quiet place uh day one i have never seen those movies oh, okay well we might have to do that <laughs> because i i really like those movies i've heard they're really good i just i haven't i just haven't seen them. yeah is yeah. that the one with like john krasinski in them yep okay good all right also emily blunt yeah <laughs> also emily blunt yeah they shouldn't get but, to work uh... together they're married <laughs> <laughs> well, he directed it too, so you know. <laughs> oh, so it's nepotism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> no complaints there. Still great. Anyway, one other movie I want to mention <laughs> yeah. is actually kind of funny, which maybe we could cover. It's a remake of a movie that's over a hundred years old that we covered actually a couple years back and that oh. is nosferatu i for i i knew i think maybe you told me about that or something i knew that in the back of my head yeah because it was announced the quite a ways back but like it's been like kind of pushed off for a variety of yeah. reasons or just being slowly worked on but yeah that's i think it's supposed to be the end of this year and that movie is directed by robert eggers so it's gonna be oh, very interesting that's gonna be a thing yeah <laughs> Yes. Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully there's plenty to add to our list by, by you know, by mid-year or something. Hopefully there's lots of other things that we mm-hmm. don't know is coming yet that we get lots of people excited for. We'll see. Yes. Okay. Here's a good question that we've actually never talked about on our podcast. Yeah. Do you guys listen to other podcasts and what types of things do you listen to? Mm-hmm. I Okay. I'm terrible about this, but I will subscribe and download podcasts with the purest, most innocent intent to listen to the shows. And it's not often that I do. I feel awful, Mm -hmm. but it's a podcast, right? You can just come back to it whenever you want to. It's fine. Like ours, like whatever. If you miss the week's episode, you can literally watch it anytime you want. Mm -hmm. Um, There is one. It's it's an X-Men podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, And typically each episode is kind of like structured after a, a... a specific character that's usually mm-hmm. how that works and there's lots of guest stars and the guest stars are um they're like relevant people like in the comics industry they could be artists or writers of current x-men comics they could be ones that are um like that have in the past all sorts of things like that and it's awful i'm gonna let chelsea answer while i search for the name Okay. of this of this podcast yeah. that I apparently I listen to but I don't remember the name of. Yeah. So, yep. I do listen to quite a few other podcasts. It's definitely a good way to pass the time in the car or, you know, even just at home, maybe cleaning up or whatnot. So, but I actually really only listen to like historical and like true crime. So, uh, like Amy and I are really big into true crime and like you know, weird or there are other types of like, you know, strange stories or weird things that happen. So like, I, of course, one specific one is I would always say Serial, that first season specifically. Enjoy that. There's also another good true crime uh, show that's cold. They cover, I think it's like a, he works for like, a, he's like a news reporter and then he turned it into a podcast of some of the stories he's followed along, like in Utah and the surrounding areas. Uh, there's also another one by these uh, two girls that do uh, talk about like strange occurrences or missing people and stuff in national parks. And that podcast is called National Park After Dark. And then I also do like kind of crazy, crazy random things like audio dramas from the very classic Lime Town to even Blood Ties. So kind of varies but apparently i just like to listen to slightly creepy things i guess <laughs> that's okay well that's i mean that's such a popular like genre right now as yeah. far as like podcasts and stuff go yeah there's a lot of that but um i found the the one that i was talking about it's called cerebro and it's done by connor goldsmith so it's fantastic it's fun it's usually there's it's only like an episode a month usually and they're pretty mm-hmm. decently sized ones but they are entertaining he is he is so funny um, but also very well, like read. He he knows his he knows his X Men mm. stuff. It's crazy, like the things that he references. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, but it's a good time, and that's 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 the one that I'm most consistent with. Everything else, it's like I'll listen to it like once or twice a year because mm-hmm. I'm awful about things. So, <laughs> but it, if I were to listen to more, it would be like nerdy things like that, just like mm-hmm. talking talk shows and that kind of like the stuff that we do on ours i would listen Mm -hmm. to more stuff like that okay yeah all right the next one (laughs) (laughs) the next one listeners i guess you want to know what our go-to orders at mcdonald's are yep (laughs) mine's really easy you ready um it's the double cheeseburger it's the it's the two cheeseburger meal with no pickles get out and a dr pepper very simple very nice Mm-hmm. I'm going between two right now. One of them has been my go-to most recently, which is just very classic six-piece chicken nugget meal with fries and a Coke. Like, oh, yeah. Classic. I love that. Also, it's really good right now. I don't know. Have you been to McDonald's recently when they kind of converted things recently to the Wickdonald's kind of based off of the like iconic anime thing? So um, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So they have like a special sauce right now. That's like kind of like this Asian inspired, slightly spicy sauce. Mm-hmm. So I've been enjoying that with the chicken nuggets. And okay. I think it's pretty darn good. So, OK, here we go. Yeah, but other times I'll just get this spicy McCrispy with the rice and the goat. Spicy so. McCrispy. I, I love my chicken. So <laughs> there you go. I like um I like their uh like their their breakfast sandwiches too, like their biscuits, mm-hmm. egg biscuits Cash and stuff. Rounds. Um, I I'm a big yes, I'm a big fan of that too. But McDonald's mm-hmm. nowadays is like it's kind of, it's expensive. But they have good deals in the app if you order through the app. They they do. Points. I have mm-hmm. seen that they do. Um. A lot of it's just like take so much percentage off your order too. So so mm-hmm. hey, I mean, remember back when we were little and you could get like 
literally one so of the cheap. like <laughs> one of the meals like a full meal for like five bucks yeah well ice cream cones are like 50 cents or whatever so <laughs> yes not yes. that price today Mm -mm. Ah. okay all right okay this is this is a tricky one um it's a good question but i am not going to answer it with justice here um the question is (laughs) the question is what supporting role would you want to live in if you could like in the world of like a game or something like that or a show like if you could live in that world and like play a supporting role and just like be there what would be the thing yeah, this is a very interesting it's, question. It's, I can tell you some of the ones I don't I don't want to. <laughs> probably a lot of those. Don't put me in Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot that I'm yeah. like noping out of that situation real dang fast. Yeah, because that like, reminds me of part of like, I, sh- I don't want to be put in a zombie type movie or TV show, but I'm like, well, I kind of do. But basically everybody, if you're not a main character, you're going to die like immediately. Yeah. So Yeah. Like, I don't want to live like that. Like, I'm going to go running at the zombies. Like, we're not doing that for the next <laughs> yeah. week to 10 years of my life. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> I do have one interesting one. I would say like, I don't know how I would be inserted into this book series, but Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a fairly safe book series to be a part of, and I also would enjoy it if I got to be, like, a side character that somehow got to be a part of Kingdom Keepers, that childhood series. Are you familiar with that one? Not really. Okay. It was... It's it's quite old now, but when it came out, like, it's about these, like, kids or, like, teenagers that work at Disney parks like after school and they get hired for this weird role to like be like models of like they are implementing this technology in Disney World which is not real today where like to be like like virtual assistants so they had like their likeness scanned and everything and they were like pop up throughout the park to like help people navigate the park well the twist thing is that this technology that disney uses on them is that when they like go to sleep they get transported to disney world after dark and the the park comes alive and like okay so like it's a small world becomes like a demonic ride oh like, god what the children like wanting to murder you the disney villains are involved it has something to do with like like hurricane katrina somehow like causes some type of weird effect at time like this these books are pretty old but like what is happening i don't know but, <laughs> yeah <laughs> And, like, there's so many books, and I know I have not read them all, but I just think that I just... It was such a cool concept, especially as a kid reading, like, I get to, like, magically be transported to Disney and helping, like, stop the evil park and the villains from taking over the world. I don't know about that. I don't want nothing to do with an, <laughs> with an alive It's a Small World ride. I'm ready. <laughs> I was going to cop out and say Harry Potter. Can I just oh. be a... Can I just be a student in Hogwarts while Harry's out doing his thing? Like... That's fair. Like, seems pretty easy. I think I can manage myself. That's a good one. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm sure there's some, like, Disney movies that wouldn't be too bad. Not Frozen. (laughs) I don't need, like, (laughs) random snowstorms and Elsa (laughs) scream singing out her window at 2 a.m. every day. (laughs) I don't need all that. But I'm sure sure there's some Disney movies that would be better than others. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was going to say, Big Hero 6... Post the villain might post, not be as bad. <laughs> post the villain attacking. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I was going to say maybe like Bell's Little Village, like living in Bell's Little Village doesn't seem, I mean, assuming you can read, things wouldn't be I was so going to say, bad. well, I don't know. You might be with like them being like, ew, Bell. <laughs> oh, that's rough. I might. You could do sassy singing. Sassy singing yes. in French. Yes. In French. <laughs> yes. Okay. But yeah, I think that's that's our answers for that one. I think mm-hmm. that's what we got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next. If you could create a comic book hero or villain, what would their character and power be? I have a really petty one. I would be a villain, but I wouldn't. I would. And I would be a super villain. Mm-hmm. But my power would be something that's not exact. It wouldn't be like an active power. Like, you know, I'm not like shooting fireballs at the comic hero or something. Uh, My ability would just be to like overcharge people's cell phones <laughs> and like kill them, like kill the cell phone oh, completely, gosh. you know? Oh, like, they said kill them. I was like, Whoa. no, like, no, like shoot the battery, just ruin yeah. it. It's like there's and there's no flashy effect to that. I just I just do that. 
and that and i would absolutely be a villain like people would you know but also how would they know how would they know it was me i mean i would have to monologue about it i guess but i'd have to make it dramatic to some degree yeah i like how you took the question more to if you were actually a super villain yeah. or hero yeah Instead of creating oh, yeah. one, I would do you that. want to be put in the story. Yes. If I want to be, if I'm making a villain, I might as well be the villain. And if I'm going to be a villain, I might as well be petty about it. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you want a you want a comic hero to my villain? <laughs> I could try, but I feel like my character would end up being a villain too. So you know, <laughs> because my go to favorite superpowers are yes, they're basic, and I don't freaking care. That's I okay. love telekinesis and telepathy and that combo okay, is Gray. very dangerous yeah <laughs> but also every you know come on betsy come on it's just everybody's all there it's yep time. you're so, right you're absolutely so, right you know so yeah i i don't know what else would happen but you know i'm there being psychic know, would definitely it. have its benefits if i know it would also suck too but i mean yeah. definitely definitely the you know, telekinesis is just super beneficial. So many possibilities of way to handle things and just, mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, like uncontrollable <laughs> um, mind reading, like that kind of stuff. No, thank you. Oh, that would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. If I could control, if I could turn it off and on and, you know. True. Yeah. Sure. That would, yeah. Make it much better. But yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. There's our answer for yep. that one. We have mm-hmm. two more folks. Oh, no, I'm wrong. We have four more. Four more. We're almost yes. there. Okay, next one. I love this one. It's so basic. Um, what is your favorite <laughs> vegetable right now? Like specifically right now. Right now. Right now. Okay, mine right now is Brussels mm-hmm. sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Like roasted in the oven. I don't know. Like maybe mm-hmm. either a little bit of salt on them or a little Parmesan cheese or whatever. I don't know. They're, okay. they're delicious. All right. I'm um I'm a green bean guy. Mm-hmm. Like green mm-hmm. beans. Um, yeah. carrots, broccoli. Those are fine. Those kind of depends on like what what's going on with them Mm -hmm. like i'm not a like i'm gonna eat a baby carrot i'm not that kind of guy but you know yeah yeah. green beans for sure i love me some green beans they're good okay um interesting question though i was not expecting that (laughs) not expecting that um which act i uh, gosh oh this one Uh, (laughs) which actor would you choose to play you if your life was made into a movie daniel radcliffe because apparently he can just play whoever he wants (laughs) um I would pick Emily Blunt. Nice. I like Emily Blunt. <laughs> nice. She could do it. She yeah. could act in anything. Yep. If I were a joking kind of guy, I would see Danny DeVito. Because I, too, am short and fat. So there we go. There we go. Or I could go the other way and do choose somebody like Chris Hemsworth or somebody. Somebody who's, like, absolutely not <laughs> me. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> he could live a day. I see. like to see him act, like, act in my stead for a day. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That would be crazy. It would be funny. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next. Favorite ice cream flavor. Do you have a favorite? This is actually hard for me. I know. My favorite really depends on my mood. Mm, Like, mm -hmm. do I want something chocolatey or not chocolatey? Like, that's really, that's the first question I ask. Well, and my thing is like, the ice cream flavor is a little bit weird for me because I love ice cream with toppings in it. Like, I love like, either if it's going to have like, Reese peanut butter cups or a little bit of maybe like i don't know just a hot fudge mm-hmm. i mean i i do want chocolate in my ice cream but i don't just want strictly chocolate ice cream i need right something to add to it yes which makes me That's almost want to say yeah complicated flavor or complicated yeah. um answer yeah <laughs> yeah so I, like i almost want to be really lame and say vanilla with toppings because, like, that's possibilities. But also, like, I mean, like, mint chip is really good. But I like the green mint chocolate chip. I don't like the white Specifically. One. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. 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 No, no, thank you. It's not as good. <laughs> no. I like, um, now this, again, this is kind of a cop-out answer. I like Neapolitan ice cream. Because you've got your chocolate, your vanilla, <laughs> and your strawberry. <laughs> so you you just go. Go, you can go back and forth. Is that an answer? <laughs> that is a weight answer, 100%. <laughs> Why can't I just have it all? Why do I have to have just one? <laughs> you know what? Hey, you're right. That's how it should work with ice cream. <laughs> yeah, right? Dang it. So that's what I'm going with. That's okay. what I'm going with. Okay. All right. Our final question. Yes. And it's it's a pretty good one. And we'll have to we'll have to see what we can tell you. But um, the question is, congrats on 100 episodes. Anything else that we, lo- we can look forward to coming up this year? And to you, I say... You'll yes. just have to wait and see. 
Nah. Well. No, there is there's we have we have a pretty good year lined up, I think, in terms of just like mm-hmm. basic kind of content. Where we have some games. Well, we we kind of said it earlier, but our next episode will be over the Final Fantasy VII remake. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. Which Chelsea's playing it for the first time, and I'm seeing it again after uh, you know after its release. Now that Rebirth is out, looking back at remake, so that's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Um, we're going to be working our way through some more X Men. Um, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Plenty of Dreamlight Valley, of yeah. course. Mm-hmm. We hit May and June. We're going to be talking about. We're going to have some more like specific kind of content episodes. Um, in June, Chelsea and I are going to be since it's since it's Pride Month. Um, mm-hmm. We've never done like a Pride episode or anything, so it's kind of neat. But yeah. we're we're look we're gonna look at a video game series that ha- features a lot of like LGBTQ um, characters. I don't I don't think mm-hmm. it's like specific to that, but it features mm-hmm. characters, yeah. and that is going to be Life is Strange. Um, and and that'll be new to both of us, I think. Mm-hmm. Yes. So looking, we talked about that a lot. We're looking forward to that. Um, we're going to be talking about some more book series this year. Mm-hmm. Um, catching up on one that we did last year, since it's got a new addition to the family. Yes. Yeah. There is there is lots of stuff to look forward to. Although we don't have the entire year completely mapped out yet. So if listeners, if there's something you really want to see, or even a concept, if you're like, I don't know specifically like what you want to talk about, but if like, can you bring this up? Can we get opinions on this? Let us know. Like we'll fit stuff in. We have some creative stuff planned. Some more like fun, yeah. fun, silly mm-hmm. things. Um, but yeah. listeners, help us out. If you're something you want to see, you let us know. Uh, and we will be happy to oblige. Yes. I think of one other little tease we'll give too is that definitely later in the year it's we're going to be it'll be our third year doing it. We're going to keep up with our tradition of a Halloween episode about a Hitchcock film. So you can oh, look yes. forward to that. Yes. And we picked we picked I think we picked a pretty good one for this year too. So. Yes, yes. We hope so. so. I mean, I haven't seen yeah. it, so we'll see. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I've heard a lot about it, sure. so we'll see. Yeah. We'll mm-hmm. see. But yes, yeah. You know, of course we'll have some yeah, like, you know, themed holiday episodes whatnot, so plenty more to come and yeah. Now, I would love to spill all the secrets now, but we already gave you guys a taste. Yeah, we, so. You get a taste. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. Yes. But we're we're very excited about the year. Um, We actually, we sat down to plan 2024 and it, it just spilled out. Like we were just, mm-hmm. uh, we have so much to talk about and we cannot wait. So keep up with us. Uh, reach out to us, guys. Remember, we are on Facebook. We are on, we're on X for the time being. But we are on Blue Sky. We are on Instagram. You can catch us just about anywhere these days. Yep, all podcast platforms and on YouTube. We have some gameplay videos, some more gameplay videos coming, as well as oh, just right. all of our regular mm-hmm. episodes. So yes, you, yeah, you can watch quote quote unquote. You can watch all of our podcast episodes from the beginning on YouTube. Um, in mm-hmm. a lot of the the video game specific ones, they they have gameplay footage of us. So there is that. You might you might want to give that a shot if you're someone who likes to like watch while you listen. That could be an mm-hmm. option for you too. But listeners, I just want to take a second and thank you all for an amazing hundred episodes of Podcast Demastered. Yes. It's been a trip and a half and and we're going. We're not yep. stopping anytime soon. So looking ahead um, to the future. Yes. Looking ahead to the future, always and forever. But stick with us. We love it. So we will catch you soon. See ya.